here is why Williams are just so done. Look, Williams are an amazing F1 team with a great history. Like, don't get me wrong. Williams have been part of Formula One for a very long time. They're very much a team that I think a lot of people have respect for. And a lot of people have many good memories of Williams, myself included. Growing up, they were a very good team. And before I was even old enough to watch F1, Williams had a history of being champions, a really strong team. In fact, they had their own eras of dominance. They had some huge names driving for them. And at one point, they were just the biggest force in F1. But at the moment, they just seem depressing. Now, I think a lot of people are on the side of Williams. I think a lot of F1 fans want them to do well because of that history and because of who they once were. Of course, we want to see teams like Williams return to that former glory. And I think when Williams were looking truly bad, like really bad, I'm talking like 2018, 2019, when their car was just so slow and they were clearly struggling in all aspects, financially, on the track, just everywhere. I think a lot of people had some sympathy for Williams, but now I think it is starting to wear out. When the new owners came in and took over the team, I think there was a lot of excitement that more money, different minds were going to be injected into Williams for this resurgence project. But... I just don't think we have anything to show for it. Now, you could argue that it hasn't really been that long, and I don't know, I still feel like we haven't seen any proper progress. Sure, we've seen some good performances here and there, some points finishes, but nothing to really get you excited and make you believe that they are on the rise. I feel like it's just been too long, very stagnant. I mean, you could look at the positives like Albon, for example, or James Vowles, who I think is a great leader for that team. He seems to know what he's doing, and Albon seems to be having a pretty good stint with them. But there's still those signs of the Williams of old. The struggling Williams, if you will. So the chassis incident in Australia, I guess, opened up a lot of eyes once again, and just made people realise that Williams just still don't look like they're in a good place. Now, yes, it turns out that a lot of other teams don't really bring a spare chassis or a spare car, but Williams still seem to be that team that are struggling and really, really can't afford a crash. That doesn't give us any hope for Williams to suddenly get better and improve. The name Williams is very much respected in F1. If you remember what Frank Williams did and how he kind of put everything on the line for his Formula One team and made it his life, it's one of the best F1 stories I think you'll ever see. It really is. And it's something that you can't do anymore. It's not like some guy can just love racing so much and start building his own cars and start his own F1 team. It's just not something that you are able to do anymore. Frank Williams was that incredible story that F1 really does love. And of course, growing up, Williams were still a strong team for me. I mean, they had some incredible drivers. Some of my favorite drivers drove for that team. For example, Juan Pablo Montoya, one of my favorite drivers of all time. Williams was still a powerful team. But the decline was really sad to see, and it just seemed to get worse and worse and worse. And they just don't seem like they have that stability. And I think that is the main thing for me personally as an F1 fan when I look at Williams. When I see a team that has very little stability, they almost look like they're fighting to survive in a way in Formula One. I mean, it just doesn't give me hope that we're going to see Williams back at the front as a big F1 team. It is a bit of a disappointment. And I think a lot of fans are starting to lose that patience with Williams. I mean, I guess you can only believe in something for so long or support something for so long before you just think, okay, this is literally going nowhere. Logan Sargent is another driver that I think a lot of people are starting to change their view on. I think a lot of people, including myself, had some sympathy for Logan and really felt like 2024 would be the season where Logan can throw together a decent year and show what he's truly made of. And I think Williams have done the right thing by backing him. But to me, it seems that many fans are starting to have the opinion that Logan Sargent maybe isn't 
quite built for Formula 1. Now we are still in the early stages of the 2024 season, so Logan could very much turn this around. And of course, he didn't race in Australia for reasons which weren't his fault. You can look at that how you want. Maybe it was a little bit harsh, or hey, maybe it was the right decision. Considering Albon is the quicker driver and Williams need to do what they need to do to score points. The incident in practice for Logan was a little bit of a bad return. I think a lot of people looked at that and said, okay, what are we doing? We could be looking at the final season of Logan Sargent in Formula One, and it is sort of looking that way. But the main topic of this video is the loss of hope in Williams, which I think a lot of people are feeling. Nothing just seems to go their way. But even after the takeover, you never really felt like things got better. You never really saw that jump, for example. And therefore, the hope is fading as the seasons go on. It's a little bit unfortunate. Don't get me wrong, it's not something I want to happen. I really love the Williams name. I love the history. I really love what Frank Williams did. He'll 100% be one of the biggest legends to ever be involved in Formula One of all time. But talking about instability and the thoughts that a team like Andretti, for example, won't bring much to Formula One, won't be competitive. All assumption, but we still have teams on the grid that have to sacrifice a car because they need a chassis.